Hello everybody, so we're going to do an activity today. It's called uh, Flashcard Junkin. And I want you guys to learn how to uh, do this uh, with multiple students. It doesn't really work with one-on-one, -on -one, or you need at least uh, three or four students to make it really work well. But we're going to try to play it the, and uh, let you guys see how it works. Nick. Hello. Caroline. Great. And we have some flashcards. These are tiny flashcards. Of course, your flashcards will be bigger. Oh. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to line these flashcards up in a line, straight line there. Good. Okay. And I ah, think you guys are so fast. Wonderful. Now let's spread them out just a little bit along the, the table so there's, there's a, they cover the whole width of the table. Oh, you mean like this? The whole length of the table, yeah. Yeah, spread them out like that. I think some of you guys are already probably using this, but if you're not, it's a really cool little game that the students really love. The children just really dig it. Okay, so now you guys are going to have to stand up. Okay. We're going to go over here. Nick, can you go down to that side over there? Yep. Good. And then Caroline, come over to this side. I'm trying to move these, push in the chairs so they don't get in, the, they don't get in your way. Push them in or push them out, one of the two. Okay, because we're going to be moving up the table. You're right? going to be moving under different sides of the table. So no. um, your goal, Nick, mm -hmm. is to get to here. Okay. And Caroline, your goal is to get to there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, usually we have like another student behind Caroline mm -hmm. and another student behind Nick. Mm -hmm. And then those students will um, come in once, once either one of these guys loses. So what we're going to do is, Caroline, you're going to run this side, Nick's going to run this side, and you're going to say the, um, the flashcard name and move on one by one. Okay? Ready? And you guys can go at the same time. Ready? When, when do I do junk in? Not yet? Not yet. When you come okay. to the middle. Ready? Go. Okay. Okay, stop. When you get to the same one, you have to do junk in. Oh, okay, so we reach the same one, right. so we have to do junk in. Right. Okay, uh, rock, paper, scissors, one, two, three. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, rock, paper, scissors, one, two, three. Okay, so Nick is lost, so you have to go back to start, okay. and you can keep going. Go, yeah, you keep going. Okay. Yes, yes, okay. Uh, okay, so we're together, we're together, we're together. So, uh, rock, paper, scissors. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, you beat me again. Go, 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 Oh, I can't believe you beat me out of time. Go, 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 you know, you have to control uh, them when they're, you know, going down the line because they have to right. say, say the, the, correct. the correct, correct word, right? Yes. Yes. So if they're not saying the correct word... Then you have to stop them. That's the, you have to be an arbiter, yes. Okay, and they have to go back. Yes, and, and if you have a large enough class, mm -hmm. you can have uh, students watching from the other teams because then they will not let them go past okay. if they don't do it. And also, if you have students who are really quiet and they, they're having real difficulty to pronounce anything or say mm -hmm. anything, then in that case, you don't want other students you know, grading them. You're gonna do it that yourself, and you'll let them go when they when they've done it. And even sometimes when they when they really haven't, you'll say, "Well, you've been here long enough." But they will they will help each other, and they'll try to make their team win. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah, okay, that's great. Good. All right, thanks, thanks guys. Thanks,